Hi, it's Julie Chan Sito. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna go over some wrist rolling techniques. The front and back wrist rolling figure eights. Are you ready? Let's get started. Wrist rolling is a more intermediate move. If this is too hard for you, please go back to the basic moves here. First, we're going to do the downward wrist rotation like this. So we'll place an object here. Swing up the hip like this. So it's downward hitting something. To start, use your right hand to hold the nunchuck. Palm facing downward, chain on the left side like this and do a circle a circle from left to right all the way like that just try to rotate this chain like this and then release our hand and grab the nunchuck so first our hand is face with our palm facing downward and then we release it and then we rotate our hand so now the palm is facing upward like that basically it's here holding open up catch open up catch like that again swing and catch don't do it too fast keep it slow enough momentum and then you, it will basically roll over your hand and then you can catch the other side of the up like this we're going to do 10. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. And then now we're gonna do the reverse grip. Palm open up, facing the sky. Put our nunchuck here, chain still on your left side like this. Hold it. There's something placed here. This is hitting upward. So this is the upward wrist roll. Just do a circle like this. So swinging the loose side from right to left like this to do a circle. After you're comfortable with this, then you swing it up and then release your hand. And then when you release your hand, you switch from this grip to this grip. So you basically release and then rotate your hand. Release and rotate like this. We're going to do 10 of these. And then you will need to go back to the right grip. So if you want to just use one hand to switch, it's fine. Now let's do 10 of these. Ready? Go. One. You just go back to the position to start. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to combine the downward and upward like this. So we'll be more familiar with the wrist rolling. Remember the first move, we swing it downward and catch. So the other side might roll over, which is fine. So it's from here, you still do the same flip, flip it and catch. And then do it again. So we'll do a circle, it will be twisted like that, which is fine. You just need to rotate your wrist and then it will flip over. Rotate your wrist and it will flip over. 
Let's do 10 of these. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. If you're using a chain nunchuck instead of a string, this will hit you like, this will kind of wrap around your wrist. And because the chain is quite hard, sometimes it might feel a bit uncomfortable. You might need to get used to it when you're doing this. The chain is just wrapping around your wrist. Or you can use the string one, it will be less hard on your wrist. So after doing this move, we can do the figure eight. So the figure eight is, is a little bit more difficult, but it's manageable once you know how to do the wrist roll. So you do that downward wrist roll like this. So what I do, I throw my nunchuck up and do a circle and swing it to the back. So here, I just basically have a, my wrist is swinging to the left side like this. So it'll rotate. So I'll make a circle here and go to the back and open up to the back. So my grip is the same. It's just with this circle here, I'm bringing my hand to the back instead of just bringing it like this. I'm doing a circle to go back, a circle to go back. So now I'm facing the back with my palm open up. My chain is on my, the same side of my left shoulder. And then now I'm going to do the upward wrist roll that we just practiced. So from here, we do the upward wrist roll. And now our palm is facing downward, the grip is like this. And then you come back. And also instead of coming back just like this, we come back with our arm twisted like this. So this will create a circle. You see the circle here? We'll create a circle. That's how the figure eight goes, like that. So here's the circle to here. And then now we are back to this grip. So we're gonna do the hand roll again here. And then we do that circle to bring, to draw that eight. And here we do the spin. And then we swing again back here. So that's help create the infinity loop. The figure eight. And then how to close the move. Do the front, back, and then I'll just close. Do the front, back, front, back, and catch. So from here, I just swing the nunchuck and catch it with my armpit. Now let's do 10 of the figure eights. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do the other side. We hold the nunchucks with our left hand, palm facing downward, chain on the right side like this. And then let's just do a circle like this. Let's do a circle. Just a circle, throw the nunchucks from the right side to the left side, all the way around to do a circle. And then now we're gonna try to release our hand and catch. Catch the other side of the nunchuck. Remember, it's from here, cat open, catch. Here, open, catch. So now the grip is like this. Hand and palm facing upward. The chain is still on our right side. Do it again. Swing. Let's do 10. Ready? Go. One. And just change it back to the right grip. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, And then now we're gonna do the reverse spin. So palm facing upward, chain on your right side like this. Then do a circle. So swing it from the left side to the right side. You can do a circle like this. From the left to the right, do a big circle. Let's see, upward circle. While we're swinging, we release our hand and change the grip. So now our palm is facing downward like this. So our hand movement is from here, holding it, release and catch. So from here to here. Swing and catch. Again. Swing and catch. We're gonna do 10 of these. Go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to combine them together so we can. Just practice it a bit more, be more familiar with the move. So, the downward wrist roll, same, this side might wrap around your wrist, which is fine. And then remember to kind of rotate your wrist to the right side, so it will throw it. So again, one side and throw it. And just keep continuing like that. We're gonna do 10 of these. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do the figure eights on this side. So first, we do the hand roll like this. And then once you're here, you spin to the back. But instead of just swing to the back, you also do a little circle like this. So you, you are lifting, lifting the right side a little bit. So it will create a circle. And then from here, we do the upward wrist roll. And then after this, we have this grip. And then we come back to the front. We do a rotation on our wrist. So this will create a circle. Now our palm is facing up. So from here, change to here. So this will give us an extra rotation. So instead of starting from here, right? We are now with this extra rotation here, the circle will be bigger. And then we just continue. Let's do 10 of these. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wrist rolling just takes time to practice. So just keep practicing and I'm sure you'll be able to get it very soon. If you have any questions, comments, or any other new moves you want to learn, please leave your message down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for my latest videos. See you in the next one.